so today is the day where we finally fix our green seat belt. As you guys can see, my seat belt is super worn out, so that's the reason why I'm changing it. And it just looks ugly, guys. So we're gonna change this original seat belts to these green seat belts. The tools that you need for this DIY project is some screwdrivers, then a socket toolbox with all the sizes of socket, and you're good to go. Place is where you have to remove some bolts here here and inside here there's two more bolts where you have to remove to access the two bolts you have to remove this panel so to open this panel it seems to be very simple all you have to do is just remove one two three four five and another one there six six screws and this panel will be out remove the screws with the power of editing in three two one so as you guys see the screws are all out and now all we have to do is just remove the panel. So as you guys see there's another bracket holding here and it's just a screw so just remove it by using a screwdriver. This is the whole assembly of the seat belt is only holded down by one bolt. 17 mm socket and just open the bolt. So now that the bolt is out you can just remove the seat belt like this. A few moments later. As you guys see here, this is the green seat belt which is refurbished on my left hand side and I'm going to show you how to change this seat belt which is old to this new seat belt. But first you guys have to understand the locking mechanism of the seat belt. As you guys see, there's a ball bearing that holds the seat belt from retracting which also means like when you're braking your car, the seat belt doesn't retract. All you have to do is just let the gravity do its work and this ball bearing will push the lever down and you can pull the seat belt out. So once you fully pull the seat belt out, there will be a buckle that holds the seat belt in place. All you have to do is just take a flat head screwdriver and pull out that buckle. So you guys have to remove the clip while holding the seat belt buckle clip because it's spring loaded. So once the seat belt is out, just put a zip tie and zip it so that the retainer stays in place before you fix anything. The next thing you gotta do is line up the old seat belt with the new seat belt to measure the length. Next step is you gotta take the old seat belt and the new seat belt and line it up together so that you can stitch this later. And the next step you gotta do is you gotta put a marker on the point where the button can go. And the last step is to measure the actual length of the seatbelt. So the next step is just cut off the excess piece and just use a lighter or a matchstick and light it up so that the ends of the thread doesn't come out and it should look something like this. Next thing we gotta do is we gotta punch a hole to put in the new button. So just use a flat head screwdriver and just punch a hole and put in the new button and just clip it into place. So we are almost done. All you have to do now is just channel the new seatbelt into the seatbelt assembly and just channel this seatbelt into the seatbelt buckle retainer. So once that is done, all you have to do is take the new seatbelt and place this seatbelt into the clip that was provided earlier and just fold this seatbelt together with the clip and just slide this seatbelt clip all the way straight into the slot. The next step you gotta do, you gotta cut the zip tie off by using a scissors but guys, most importantly, do not let go the retainer clip because it will retract as it's spring loaded. And all you have to do is just push in the clip and just give it a good pull. Gently roll the new seat belt into place. After a few manual rolls, you can just let the retainer do its job and the final product should look something like this guys. Guys, I almost forgot, we gotta stitch this end to make it look like the OEM seat belt. So with some simple editing magic, this is how it looks like guys. So the next thing that you guys gotta do is just fix back the panel exactly how you opened it. And the final outcome should look something like this guys. give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more diy tutorials hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope this video helps